Assalamualaikum. So today, me and my teammates will be presenting about our newly planned venture at tea shops, which we call the Pad Teh. So let's go. Firstly, we will talk about us, the Pad Teh. The idea to open a tea shop is because we have difficulty finding tea shops that sell fresh, hand-brewed teas. A shop that focuses on making its own teas is quite rare. So we decided to open a tea shop that specializes in many types of teas. Tempat Teh is a tea shop in Georgetown in Penang that sells a lot of different kind of tea. We focus on tea because we wanted to make our cafe a good place for people to hang out while having tea. Tempat Teh is known for its English tea which is made with only the best foreign tea and honey or gula melaka as sweetener. It is made by putting together the black teas. We decide to name our shop Tempat Teh because we wanted to infuse the Malay vibes even our tea shop specialized in making English tea. And the name itself scream vintage which is the theme of our tea shops. Next, I will explain to you about our logo. The colors of light brown and white were chosen as our logo is to enhance the vintage feel of our shop. The tempat teh in bold letters are used to accentuate our company's name. The picture of a cup of tea as well as the camellia flower on the bottom of the cups demonstrate our expertise in English tea. The phrase English tea place is also a reference to our expertise in brewing English tea. Next is our mission and vision. Our mission, it is our mission to give our customers with the highest quality freshly brewed teas for them to enjoy. At Tempat Teh, we always provide the greatest quality, experience, customer service and tea for our customers. As for our vision, our idea is to deliver the highest possible standard of tea to each and every one of our customers. Tempat Teh aspires to continue the trend of giving healthy beverages option and integrating tea drinking into people's everyday routines. One cup at a time, we hope to improve people's perceptions about tea. Next, let me introduce you to my team members. Firstly, it's me, Nordia Nadeti Norzi as the general manager. Next, we got Nur Shafa Farhanim as operational manager and Nurul Ain Shahira as our marketing manager. Other than that, we also got Nadira Najma as our organizational manager, Nur Azma Najiha as our financial manager, and last but not least is Nur Fatiha as the head of supervisor. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nadira Najma and I am the organizational manager of Tan Pati. Now, I will be explaining on the problems that usually persist when we are assisting in this kind of industry. Running a business is never easy. That's why it is very important to predict a future. Problems that Tempat Teh might encounter is about the competitive market. Running a business in the beverages industry is never easy as there are so many different competitors that we might have to go against. Secondly, loss of our interest from our target market. As a healthy drink shop, our product is not something that people find as much as a coffee daily. So, making sure that the attention stays hot is very crucial. Last but not least, the problem that we might encounter is increasing of price due to the increase of ingredients price. Price play a huge role in business. Increasing the price of our product frequently might cause our customers to look for a replacement. Now, the first solution for the first problem is serving a different concept of a drink. For instance, we decided to serve English tea in a teapot concept, which customers need to pour for themselves. Well, like most of us know, our competitors I usually serve tea using a cup, but not teapot. That is why our concept is very unique features to our business. Well, if you look at the pictures, those are tempat teh concept that will be our main competitive advantage. The next solution, we will try to improve 
I will present product with a newer and updated drink. Tempat teh isn't only serve the healthy tea, but we also serve teh tarik as our side menu since Malaysian people make teh tarik as their daily drink. As to attract customers, we also serve a few kinds of dessert. The final solution to cope with the problems is we will try to find a new supplier that offer a cheaper price than usual. Well, we don't want to lose our customer if we increase the price of product. Thus, it is better for us to find other suppliers that offer an affordable price of the ingredients. Next, our value proposition is most of our tea served in a teapot rather than a cup, unless it is for take In order to preserve the scent and distinctiveness of our English tea, we serve them in a teapot, not like most of our competitors. Furthermore, it is to provide customers upskill experience. Moreover, if our customers are looking for a spot to sit back and relax while sipping their tea, our place is just for them. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Shafa Farhani binti Sulaiman and I am the operational manager of Tempat Teh. Okay, so I will be discussing about targeted market of Tempat Teh. Our main target market is those people who live in Pulau Pinang or as known as Pinangais. This is because Tempat Teh is located in the heart of Penang which is Georgetown. So it is easily reachable for everyone who lives in Penang. Then our next target market is for cafe hoppers. We put them as our target market because the concept of Tempat Teh is exactly like a cafe. So for those who love to go on a cafe hopping with their friends or family, Tempat Teh can be a great place for you to go and have your drinks with your friend and family. The next one is people that age from 15 to 60 years old. This is because our drinks are mostly made in a healthy way for users to consume. It will not be too sweet or too tasteless. It will be just nice for everyone who wants to try our drinks regarding how old they are. Then, we focus on the non-caffeinated lovers. Sorry, non-caffeinated drink lovers and also tea lovers. This is because Tempat Teh Special Menu is mainly about English tea. For those who want to try a different flavor other than iced latte, this place can be your place to hang. Last but not least, for the target market, we focus on users that have medium to high income levels as it is affordable for these users. We make sure that every drink that we make is made from love and combined with premium and high quality ingredients so that it will output a great cup of tea. Tempat teh will ensure that every sip of our tea is worth every penny spent by our consumers. Now, I will talk you all through the environmental trends of Tempat Teh. It is divided into three segmentation, which is the first one is geographic segmentation, demographic segmentation, and also cultural segmentation. The, ge the geographic segmentation of Tempat Teh is it is located in an area that is best known as one of the most attractive places in Pulau Pinang which is Georgetown. Next is the demographic segmentation. We mainly focus on the age of users and also the income levels. For age, it is easily accessible for youth people, middle age and older people as well as for users from middle level income to high level income. Last but not least, is the cultural segmentation. The cultural segmentation mainly refers to the cafe hopping trend that has been happening around in almost all places in Malaysia. And nowadays, the, the amount of people that spend their time at cafes has been increasing compared to the amount of people that spend their time at the mall. Okay, moving forward. Now, we will go with the competitive advantage of Tempat Teh. The first one is we will price the menu right. The price that we put on our menu will be suitable with the way that we serve to our customers. It will not be overpriced. Then, we will ensure comfortable atmosphere for all of our customers because we want all of our customers to feel like home whenever they are at Tempat Teh so they can always come again the next time around. 
Then we will ensure the clean and quick service for all of our customers so that they can feel safe at tempat teh. Okay, now let's talk about the competing game plan for tempat teh. So we will keep the tempat teh updated with the trends so that tempat teh will not be left out. Then tempat teh will give training to the staff so that tempat teh can deliver the best service to the customers in order to achieve customer satisfaction as customer satisfaction comes first before anything else. Then, we will look after the existing customers because we realize that this existing customers is the one that is going to bring us new customers. So, we kind of grateful for them and we will take a good care of these existing customers and we will listen to their feedbacks, their reviews and their opinions in order to plan a better future for Tempat Te and all the customers that they will serve in the future. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nova Teha binti Nur Azli and I will take a moment with you guys to talk about the marketing strategy and also the sale process. For our first marketing strategy is based on pricing. The part they may have set a slightly high price but our drink is still did not go up from the overall standard uh, price for drinks. And based on our uh, high quality and premium use ingredient we ensure that every taste is worth for every penny that you spend out and for the sales tactic uh, from this aspect we have uh, started our move by using the Instagram page to deliver and reach out more people and to create a relationship with our consumer and the third one is on service and membership for this uh, tempat teh has taken an advantage compared to the other competitors who have record of slow service we have ensured that our customer will get a quick service and also will um, we, they ha we are welcoming for every uh, cons consumer they want to uh, add on their additional preference on uh, flavoring or uh, syrups in their drinks and for the uh, advertising and promotion, Tempat Teh has started to bring out uh, the product and service and achievely to develop uh, the technology use by using platforms such as Facebook and Instagram to catch people's attention for our products. And the last but not least is based on distribution strategy. Distribution strategy is when we have the accessibility for our customer or beloved customer to come and visit our shop as it is located at urban area uh, in Penang, Georgetown. And we have also served a delivery service for those who want to comfortably have our drinks at their home. Next, in for our sale process. For our sale process, tempat teh, we have uh, five keywords, which is the first one is collect. Collect is when we will collect the data information and also the feedback of our customer as the starting point for the next step. And we will, it is also to ensure that we will get no more of our customer and uh, what kind of people or who are the individual that we will deal with. And the second one is conversation. In doing our business, that tempat teh will make sure that between the customer or among the members of the shop, we will make sure to have a constantly conversation so that there will be no uh, miscommunication during the working hours. And the third one is connect. While having the collecting data and have connect uh, constantly conversation, we will surely having a connection between each other, which means the customer and ourselves in the shop will uh, feel the familiarize of each other. And the fourth keyword is clarify. We will make a clarification in every meeting that being held to make sure that is uh, there is any suggestion or any new suggestion to make a better sale. And for the uh, last but not least, the last keyword is continue. It is the overall last step of in the sale pro uh, process of our business. And through this last process, we will continue with the update version of um, same process that in this next part I'll be explaining about our financial projections F&B business is pretty risky nowadays especially cafe but have you heard the higher the risk the higher the return the most crucial part to make this equation to become true is a stable financial we take a very detailed consideration in planning our financial before starting our business the average cost to open a cafe in Malaysia is 500,000 but our initial capital that we need are only 90,000. You must be wondering why is it too much lower than the average cost? So let me tell you. 
our company will manage to reach our break even on our second year of business. As you can see on our first year, our net profit after tax is 75,000. The reason why we did not get tax is because our company total revenue is less than 600,000. Next is one of the main reasons why we did not achieve our break even in the first year is because we spend most of our money renovating our physical store. We did the renovation slowly which is month by month. We also spend money importing our raw materials from many suppliers to find the best quality for our teas. Thus, this is the reason why we spend 94000 on our first year for the expenditure. But on our second year, we managed to achieve three times from our total capital invested. It is because our situation are more stable than during our first year. On the second year, we already got our regular customers and we do not do any major renovations. We also plan to add a few more side menu like more cakes, breads and salads. This will also broaden our target market which will result in increase of our monthly sales. Our total net profit for our second year is 196040 Ringgit Malaysia. By this time, we will be able to pay off our debt. This also means we have achieved our break even in our second year. We predicted that on our first year, it will be a quite challenging for us to adapt with the market and to gather loyal customers since we are still new in the market. But by the end of the second year, we will already have lots of loyal customers because of our uniqueness. By the third year, we already achieved around 5 times than our first year revenue. This is because we are more stable and we plan to open more branches in Penang area. Now we proceed with our business milestone project. Firstly, we started with business registration on 13 December 2021. Next, we continue with renovating our business place by painting interior, installing all bar equipment and installing booth, which ended on 10 January 2022. After that, we proceed with production and completion of menus and it all started on 12 January 2022 which took only two days. After that, we started to hire some workers and it took about a week for us to finally hire the good ones. Two days later, we prepared for our business to start operate by ordering materials and on 7 January 2022, we proceed with launching our business on social media and it was about three weeks before we planned to operate tempat teh. And finally, on 1st, February 2022, we finally can, uh, we finally started to operate our business. Moving on, we got the financial self. Firstly, we will start by explaining how much financing do we need. To open this shop, we need a capital of 90,000. We plan to apply for Mara loan amounted to 60,000. The reason why we choose Mara is because we are eligible to apply for it and also there are 0% interest for the loan which will benefit us a lot and save a lot of our money. Then the six of us will each contributed 5,000 ringgit as our shared equity. All the manager including the general manager will get a share of ownership 10% from the business. On this part, I'll be talking about how we spend our money. Firstly, this is the list of our cash outflow for three years. One of the reasons why our capital is small because we thrift most of our shop's equipment. We aim to buy a thrifted shop supplies like table, chair, and some decorations. This will definitely cut our cost most. We also need a little money to repair some of the thrifted stuff but the cost is a lot more less than buying a new same set of shop supplies. This not only helps us to cut costs but this is also one of our efforts to support recycling which is also good for the environment. As the conclusion of the Pat Day Business Plan, we really hope by doing this business plan, we could secure many more investment for our company to thrive even more in the future. During the following three years, this company's strategy forecasts rapid growth and high net profits. When combined with a comprehensive marketing plan, this plan will ensure that the Pat Day soon becomes a profitable venture. 
With help of many investments, we could upgrade our shops and our service. That also will increase our sales, which will benefit our investors as well.